Would you like some cherries too, babe? Today is Cherie Bloom's birthday. I love these cherries. You want some cherries? Welcoming 48 years with new support and the gift of a fresh perspective. First of all, I don't got nothing to do. Yeah. I can't dress up and go out now. Patiently chipping away at hopelessness. Be stuck out there forever. And you know this. And, and I don't want to be that one. And you did it. I don't want to be that person. We've been homeless for three years. We had an apartment. I, um, I really love that place. We had our dogs. But following her mother's death and a traumatic relationship with her ex, Cherie lost stability. I'm going to not stress people anymore because they're hurting. I mean, they're tearing my emotional walls. For the past three years, living in an encampment along the American River became routine. We were on the levee right here, and we had a beautiful camp. Until one day, when everything almost came to an end. All I see was bam. Shuri, the victim of a hit and run, an odd blessing in disguise. How badly injured were you? What, what was that from? The tailpipe. But the thing I felt was the burn, you know, the tail on my chest. I was like, oh my God, I just started crying. A near death experience changing the trajectory of her life. I just think that I've come a long way. Cherie's recovery connecting her to a new type of assistance, joining hundreds moving through Sacramento's innovative triage shelter. Some of our most chronically um, homeless, um, mentally ill, um, physically disabled, um, addicted individuals. I see a lot of our friends that are, are 65 to, I think our oldest is 88 years old, and almost everyone in the building has a disability. The city pioneering a new path to stability for those facing the toughest obstacles. For the first time, we're allowing pets and we're allowing camping equipment and all the things that have prevented people from wanting to come into shelter. Including taking in those struggling to become clean and sober. Where you actually say to people, well, you know, you can't use drugs on site, of course, or drink on site. We're going to take you as you are. In addition to beds and meals are a rotation of on-site social, mental, and medical services to begin rebuilding with convenience. Now I've got a social security card, which I haven't had in over 15 years. Yeah, I go to a doctor. Yeah. And I'm signed up for housing. How long have you been outside? Since 98, 20 years. And in turn, breaking a routine of homelessness spanning decades. Three of our uh, guests at one time had 120 years combined total. I've been very happy. Mm -hmm. I own a lot. As for Cherie, being hit by a car changed her outlook on life for the better. Oh, my first check comes, and we gotta check the mail. Welcoming the triage shelter's opportunity and one on one help. Because I've learned the word thank you goes a long way. And if you sincerely mean it. Surrounded by newfound optimism. You know, I tell people every day, do you even realize what opportunities you have? I have the money, but need to go ahead and pay the deposit and a couple months rent. So, take the leap and do it. Counting down the days to moving into her own home. In the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate that because you guys got me back to where I was. Mm -hmm and deeply grateful for the hard-earned journey. It took a lot for me to get up and say, okay, I'm gonna do this. But if I wouldn't have, where would I be? In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.